Hi everyone, it's Adam Brown here from ISW and Kudos. I just wanted to record a quick video to demonstrate for you our latest and greatest addition to the Kudos suite, which is what we call Kudos Boards. Kudos Boards uh, is really about increasing user productivity within connections through some clever design, um, and it's very focused around activities. Uh, we, we think that activities is a, a very powerful feature of, of connections, and if you can uh, increase users engagement um, and usage of activities then it has a dramatic impact on user adoption of the, the connections product as a whole. Um, so let me just jump now to the uh, connections um, interface. This is our internal connections environment and I'm going to show you uh, the Kudos Boards app but I'm actually going to start back with activities which is where Boards really starts from. Uh, so, you know, this is a typical interface that um, uh, if you use connections you would be familiar with. Um, users tend to have quite a few activities. They have uh, community-based activities that they've been invited to. They have uh, activities that other users have um, added them as a member to. And they also have personal activities or private activities that are, are just for them. And, and what can happen over time is that users build quite a, a list of their activities and it can be a little bit overwhelming. And what tends to happen is that the the most recent ones are shown at the top and so even if you're not particularly interested in activity often they're, they're sort of bubbling at the top um, and the ones that are important to you can get pushed down and they can sometimes be a bit hard to find um, or navigate to. Um, I'm just going to jump into one of these activities and again you can see this, this is a very typical example where an activity might have lots of uh, sections and, and entries and to-dos and it's very text-based. Um, it, you know, it, it is a very powerful tool but, but we think that through some um, clever design we're able to improve this dramatically to make it more person personal so that our users are able to focus on what's important to them. So you'll note here that we've got this button at the top view activity as board. So when I click on this what it's going to do is it takes that activity and it converts it instantly into what we call a kudos board. So kudos board is a visual representation of that underlying activity. The columns that you see or the lists are repre uh, represent the sections of the activity and then the cards each represent the various entries and to-dos um, that are within that activity or within that section. Because it's more visual, we can do some pretty neat things now and the user is able to do a lot of things more intuitively. For example, if they want to edit the name of the activity, all they do is come up, click on the name and they can um, edit it. Um, or if they wanted to reorganize their activity, they can very quickly drag and drop and move the columns around um, or move the cards from, from column to column to section to section um, as they, they see fit. So it enables them to very quickly uh, visually drag and drop and organize their activity. In addition to that, users can click on individual cards, bring up this dialogue, and they can do all of the things that they could do directly within the activity, but in this uh, sort of more intuitive interface. So they can do things like add a description, uh, they can add tags, they can add a comment, um, all very, very quickly. They can change the due dates or who it's assigned to, add an attachment, all the different things that you can do. But we can also do a few, different, a few additional things. For example, we can convert a to-do into an entry or um, go the other way, convert an entry into a to-do. We can also start doing things like colour coding. So I'm able to um, colour code um, the different tasks within inside uh, this activity but I'll, I'll show you a little bit more of that in a moment. So the other thing that we can obviously do is add uh, sections uh, and add entries and to-dos. All I do is double click anywhere on the board and I can add a new section. I can drag and drop that board around. I can rename it simply by clicking and typing. Um, I can add cards, so I might add a new to-do. I might add a, a new entry. 
I can obviously edit and change all of those. I can drag and drop them, move them around to reorganize them. And the great thing as I'm doing this is that every change I make is immediately reflected in the underlying activity. So if I come back here and view the borders and activity again, you'll note that the new section that I created appears there, the new entries and the to-dos are created as I do there, and everything is kept in sync. In fact, whenever another user updates a board or the underlying activity, the board that you're looking at is automatically updated and, and changes in real time um, as well. Now, I'm going to come back to boards, but I want to jump now to the actual boards application. So when I come to boards, we have a new way of organizing our activities and we refer to them as tiles. So each activity or board is represented by one of these tiles and I'm able to very quickly organize and sort the activities the way I want to manage them personally. Um, often users are engaged in activities from different parts of the business. You might have an activity for launching a new product and that might involve people from legal, people from product management, people from sales and marketing and each of those people tend to think a bit differently and they want to be able to sort and organize their activities or their boards in the way that makes sense to them. So we've got a few features here um, we can obviously view the boards and we can look at like recent updated boards or completed boards and that's much the same as activities. But we've also got what we call board categories. Now board categories enables me to create my own personalized categories. So I personally like to have ones that are customer related, management ones, products, sales and marketing and technical. But you're able to add and change your categories any way you like and these are just for you. So if I wanted to look at just my management activities, I can do that very, very quickly. Or if I wanted to look at my customer focused activities, I can do that as well. Um, the other thing, as I'm sure you've seen, is that I'm able to color code my activities. So I've group these as sales and marketing, technical and important. And if I want to just look at the important ones, I can simply filter my boards by choosing that color and it filters it down. I can also do things like use the searching. So if I wanted to search for say kudos, um, that will filter down the boards very, very quickly to any board that has the word kudos as part of it. And I can use a combination of these to filter down both on the filters and based on the color code to find the boards that I'm interested in at that point in time. The other thing that I can do here is you'll notice these little pins. So I'm able to pin a board. And so I can always access the most important boards at a click of a button. It's very easy to update the categories and color codes of my boards. I simply mouse over a tile, select the color icon and I can choose the color or if I want to add an activity to a category I can simply do that here as well. So the My Boards interface is really designed to enable users to sort, manage and organize all of their activities and boards in a more personalized way. So let me jump back into a couple of examples. So we started with the marketing content production activity, which is a which is a fairly typical type of activity with different phases and what have you. But there's many other ways now that it's visual that we might want to work. For example, we've got this great um, board on the go that's called our ISW technical team shout out and what we do is that each person each of our technical team uses this board to list and show the major projects that they're currently working on and this is just enables us to very quickly get a snapshot of what different people are doing now I can use the list view to very quickly navigate around and move around you'll note that as I mouse over the section is highlighted or I can go to a particular person and it zips it along so I can get to that um, section very, very quickly. So this is sort of one way of um, visualizing an activity that's a little bit different to previously. If I jump back and view this, act this board as an activity, you can see it's um, very text heavy and this tends to be a little bit overwhelming for users and it's hard for them to focus on what's important to them. Um, let me show you another example uh, of how I use boards. Um, I'll jump back to my boards page and I have a board that I call my current tasks. And so this is a private 
um, board that I use just to sort and manage my day-to-day -day tasks and I have a section of things to do so I've got a pack for social connections which is on next week in Prague which is I'm um, very excited about um, I've got some ongoing tasks I've got things I've got to do today things I've got to do tomorrow things I've got to do next week things I've done and things that I might do one day um, so this enables me to just very quickly organize things that I'm going to do now seeing as though I'm going to social connections tomorrow I'm actually going to move that onto my today's uh, list and I'm recording the kudos boards demo video right now so I'm going to tick that one off as uh, almost completed um, let me jump back again to the boards interface and I'll show you just one more example so this is one uh, that we use for our month-to-month -month, um, end of task. And again, if I jump back to it as an activity, um, there's a whole lot of sections here with lots of detail, lots of um, information, and users come in, and, and there's a lot of stuff that they need to absorb here. But when it's visualized as a board, it just becomes a lot easier. I can very quickly add additional tasks. I can very quickly, let's say I wanted to add a section here, say for kudos end of month review, I can add that in and I can say, well, I need to review the renewals, um, review current proposals, or whatever the task might be. And it's so quick and easy to do it. Um, again, if I jumped back uh, to my current tasks, another feature that we've got is the color coding um, of individual cards with inside each board. So I can actually come in here and you'll note that this one has uh, been labelled with high priority and it's an internal task. So I'm able to use that to filter down my board to show me the things that are just um, high priority or just say internal tasks, things that I need to focus on. So again, it enables me to personalise and view the board in, in a much more visual and intuitive way. One last feature I'll show you quickly is this little twisty here that blows the board up to a full screen. So some users like to use boards and have it just on a second screen maybe and have their current board open as other people update that underlying activity or the board, their board automatically refreshes in real time. So look, that's just a very quick overview of um, Kudos boards. We've got a lot of new features that are coming down the track. We're really great to, to hear your ideas. So if you've got any thoughts, please reach out to us. Just come to kudosbadges.com and use the Contact Us link. Thanks for your time and hope to talk to you soon.